Bob, Bob Bunker, Mesa and Greaser on board the Lightship Planners for the annual uh, meeting of ex mariners, radio officers every year. Um, the owner and the manager, who's his chef, turn up a wonderful four course meal for us. Very reasonable, and uh, if anybody wants to imbibe, we have got a licensed bar as well. Many of us haven't seen one another for such a long time and it keeps us all going, doesn't it? It's markers in our life. We've got them from deepest Wales and we've got people from down south uh, and they're staying in the local hotels and things like that. Yeah, I've come today for the reunion because I went last year and Stan, who was uh, in our group of uh, the uh, Museum Society, we operate the radio on the bridge. Uh, said, would you like to come, you know, with the rest of the lads? I said, I am not going to miss this dinner. And you only have to look around here. There's 28, 29 lads here. I mean, the ship never gets as full normally. And this is absolutely super. My name's Ma Mike Elliott. I was with Marconi for 16 years, based mainly in Liverpool. And uh, this is like a reunion of similar like-minded people. Uh, most of them were with Marco and but some other shipping companies. But uh, just to get together and see how we've done since we left the sea. Yes, I'm Albert Owings, an ex merchant seaman during the war and after the war and before the war. And uh, the war being the World War II, of course. And um, this is a get together of ex radio and men associated with radio, Marconi mostly, Decker, people like that which is a great thing for the life-saving business. And God bless Mr. Marconi for all the millions of lives he's saved by us, like the Titanic, for instance. Those 700 and something who were found would never have been found without the radio. They'd have just frozen the ocean, wouldn't they? So all these chaps are obviously retired and enjoy a get-together and a, a chat about old times, I think. That's the main thing. There's those that did and there's those that don't did at all. Bob's one of the ones that doesn't did. But he can talk about 15 different languages. So he's one of our, dare I say, cunning linguists. <laughs> uh, I'm Brian Richardson. He used to work for Deckers many, many years ago. And after that I went with the Royal National Lifeboat Institute for about 14 years. We were repairing all the radars, automatic steering systems, gyros, all those sort of things. So um, I've been on the dock since I was 15, so I retired at 58. So I'm uh, nearly 80 now, so <laughs> I've given up the ghost now. <laughs> uh, my name's Harry Bateman, I'm also in the uh, communications and uh, autopilot business. Um, started when I was 20 and worked for a company called SAIT, a Belgian company called SAIT. This um, lasted for about 20 years and uh, then I took over with my own business and I did that for about 16 years. And then uh, that was doing satellite communication, autopilots, gyro compasses and all the, all the rest of it. And then um, we then sold the business to Marconi, which was, which was Selenia at the time. And uh, I worked for them for the final three years and then retired. Hi, I'm Len Davidson and uh, I work for Decker. And I, I joined Decker in uh, 1957 and worked for them for 42 years here in Liverpool and abroad. Uh, started off with radars and the, the old Decker navigator, all of which are now ancient history. And then we worked into engine room monitoring systems, gyros, autopilots, and complete uh, navigational systems, you know. But, well, there used to be uh, 19 engineers for Decker here in Liverpool, and now there are two of us left. Uh, so we're, we're the last of the walking wounded. I've come because uh, a few years ago, um, I happened to go to Fort Perch and see the radio equipment there, and I'm an ex uh, radio officer myself. I was interested in that, and then, sort of, kind of through all this, I managed to get in touch with Stan and find out about these reunions. And I, I'm really interested because where I live now, uh, I've got absolutely no chance of seeing the sea, much less getting involved with anybody from the sea because I live in Pontefract. 
but uh, you know it's it's a very great opportunity for me to meet a few like-minded people uh, there's not many of us left now unfortunately so uh, that's really why I'm interested in trying to keep the interest going